Hello. Before I tell you the next bit of the story of Jonah, and do you remember where we left Jonah last time? I think we left Jonah being chucked over the side of a ship, thrown overboard and falling into the sea. Well, before I tell you the next bit of the story of Jonah, I've got something to show you. I've got Jonah's story in emojis. So you have a look at the emojis and you see if you can work out what Jonah's story is this week. Okay, have a look. Okay, did you manage to work out what the story was? Well, the first emoji was an angry face. And that's what Jonah had been when he'd got on that boat, wasn't it? He was really angry that God wanted him to go off to Nineveh. And remember, he'd run off in the opposite direction, so he didn't have to do it. So he was very angry with God. And then, of course, he got thrown overboard. And, well, why on earth would the next emoji be yum? Well, we only know from the one after that, the one of the whale. Because when Jonah got thrown overboard, what happened was an enormous sea creature like a whale came and swallowed him up whole. Now, that whale wasn't there by accident. Who do you think had put that whale there or that great big sea beast? It was God, of course, because God made all the things in the earth and he knew what Jonah needed. And he sent along an enormous sea creature like a whale to swallow Jonah. Well, Jonah was inside that whale, the Bible says, for a few days. And I think he went from being <gasps> scared and probably, because I don't think it would be very nice being in the belly of a whale, a bit mm, sick feeling, till finally feeling sorry. Maybe he started off feeling sorry for himself, but I think as the time went on, Jonah learned to be sorry about the fact that he hadn't done as God had asked. Now, I said last week that God wanted Jonah to learn things. He didn't want him to learn just to be sorry. He would be pleased that Jonah had realised that he should be sorry. But God was trying to give Jonah another message. But we'll just stick with this one for just now. Because what happened next when Jonah realised that what he had done was wrong? The next emoji tells you. He prayed. He prayed to God and he said he was sorry. And he said that he knew that God was in charge of everything. And of course he did the thing that he needed to do. He asked God for help. Please help me in this situation because he was scared and a bit sick feeling and he didn't have any idea how he was going to get out of this big sea creature whale. But God knew. And the Bible says that once Jonah had sort of come to his senses and realised that God was looking after him but he just needed to do what God had asked him to do. God made the whale bleh, sick Jonah onto a beach. Can you imagine? And it does say that in the Bible. That's what this great big sea creature did. It just went bleh, and Jonah got bleh, out onto the beach. And so the next emoji is Jonah being very determined. He was going to march off to Nineveh and he was going to tell the Ninevites all about how dreadful they were and God was going to destroy them if they didn't change their ways. And that is where we're going to leave Jonah's story today. Because you see, the last emoji is the one that God wanted Jonah to know all along. God wanted Jonah to know 
that he loved Jonah. He wanted Jonah to be the best that he could be. Remember I said that last week? He wanted to teach Jonah that he had loved Jonah and saved him. He'd saved him when he went overboard and he'd saved him when he was in the inside of the whale and he'd saved him by sending him out onto the beach ready to do something new. And he did all of that and that's the last emoji because he loved Jonah. And Jonah had begun to learn a lesson about God. He'd begun to learn that God was very powerful and had made all things and was in charge of the world and had made this great big huge sea monster that had swallowed him up. But he hadn't quite learned yet a really important thing that God wanted to teach him. God wanted to teach him that just as he loved Jonah, he loved everyone. And remember part of the story and the message that God wanted Jonah to give to the Ninevites was, I will destroy you if you don't give up your wicked ways and not doing as I taught, tell you and not loving one another. If you don't change, I will destroy you. But if you do change, and that's where we're going to leave it, because Jonah is on his way to Nineveh and he's going to tell the people of Nineveh what God's message was to them. But I wonder, do you think he's learned enough to tell them not just that God was angry with them, but that last emoji, that God still loved them? Because you know, the thing is, we all do things that sometimes we are so sorry that we did. And sometimes we are so scared that if we go to God, he won't forgive us. But he will. Because we know someone who wasn't swallowed up by a whale, but in a way he was swallowed up in darkness for three whole days. And everybody thought that he was gone for good. Just like those sailors thought that Jonah was gone for good. But the person I'm thinking of was only gone for three days and then he came back. And do you know who I mean? Jesus was on the cross and he was gone for three days and then he was resurrected. He came back for everyone to show everyone that God's love is for everyone for always and we can always say we're sorry to God because he's ready to forgive us always. That's an amazing thing to remember for next week when we're going to finish Jonah's story. I wonder how you think it's going to finish. Well, I'll see you next week. Bye.